Thank you, Alana. Well, in an update tonight on the Lehigh Assisted Living Facility closed by the State Health Department over several violations. At last check, 14 people are still living at Harmony Hills Assisted Living looking for a new place to live. This being the second care facility shut down because of violations in the past two weeks. ABC 4's Courtney Johns joins us live in Lehigh with what you can do to make sure the place your loved one is staying is safe. Courtney. Yeah, Emily, uh, people living at Harmony Hills Assisted Living have until February 28th to get out of this location. Now, a lot of people have been angry and just terrified over what happened, saying they didn't know what was going on. So here are four things you can do to make sure your loved one gets the care they deserve. It's really, really important that we make a real um, effort to keep up on on that and make sure that our loved ones are okay and that they're taken care of. Debbie Booth with Utah's Adult Protective Services says you need to check in regularly, if possible, at least once a week. Go there on at, at night or on the weekends and see what happens to see if they have adequate staffing to see what's going on in in the facility. When you're there, ask questions. Talk to your loved one, staff, and other residents. Just have a casual conversation about how do you like it here. And ask about their service plan. This shows what type of care they need, like dietary requirements or help bathing. Make sure it's being followed. Number three, know your resources. For example, Medicare.gov has inspections for nursing homes and long-term care hospitals. Utah's Department of Human Services website covers adult daycares, treatment facilities, and residential support, something Evergreen Place recently applied for after being shut down over health code violations and not having the proper license. Assisted living facilities like Harmony Hills don't have inspections online. Instead, you need to call the Utah Department of Health at the number on your screen. But the most important thing you need to remember that will protect not only your loved ones is to trust your gut and call police if something seems off. You don't want your loved one in a situation where no one said anything and then something terrible happened. So I know we covered a lot of information there, a lot of phone numbers, a lot of websites. So we have all of that information already posted on our website, abc4.com. And I also wanted to point out a lot of these facilities are required to have their most recent inspection posted. For example, this is for Harmony Hills Assisted Living. They're required to have it posted in a public space. And if you don't see one, you should ask your facility for a copy of one. And if they don't have a copy of one, that's a red flag. Reporting live in Lehigh, Courtney Johns, ABC4. All right, thank you, Courtney. In politics tonight, the 